Oh, great. You're here. Uh, I suppose I am. Um, who am I? You're a vaccine. Let's call you Jab. You're here to help us get rid of COVID-19. Oh, OK. Uh, no problem. Wait, what's COVID-19? Haringey, like the entire world, changed in 2020. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused massive damage to our health, our economy and our way of life, especially in minority communities. But now you're here to help us. Whoa, that's a lot of pressure. How can you be sure that I'll work? Don't worry, before you came to Haringey, scientists all over the world tested you rigorously on thousands of volunteers and made sure that you worked really well and were very, very safe. You're the best defence we have against the virus. Wow, so I'm basically saving the world. I guess you could call me Super Jab. All right, let's get going. Shouldn't take me very long, right? Actually, the vaccination programme is going to take months because of the huge numbers of people that need to be vaccinated so that we can beat COVID-19. Oh. But the NHS is delivering the vaccine as fast and as flexibly as possible in hospitals, vaccination centres, GP surgeries and pharmacies. We're even delivering vaccines to housebound people and care homes. So how can everyone find out where they should go to get me? The NHS will contact residents when it's their turn to be vaccinated. Those who are eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine but haven't yet been invited by the NHS to take it can also find out how to book an appointment by visiting the NHS website. But people also need to be on the lookout for scams. The vaccine is free and the NHS would never ask for bank details or money. I'll bet people can't wait to get me. Mostly that's true, but unfortunately there are a lot of worries and rumours spread online which aren't based on facts that are leading some to mistrust the vaccine and not want to get it. Well, what? Well, how can they not trust me? Uh, I mean, just look at my label. I've been checked over and over. Some have also raised worries about the speed at which the vaccine has been created. But that's only been possible through the use of massive amounts of money and resources pulled together in a worldwide effort like we've never seen before. Wow, the whole world working on one problem. No wonder it happened so fast. But all the important tests and safety checks have been thoroughly done and documented. That's why it's important to trust information from the NHS and the government that has been checked by public health experts. Once you're delivered to a vaccination centre, you'll be stored safely until the person you're vaccinating arrives for their pre-booked appointment. Brr, that was cold. Hey, who's that nice lady? That's Nicole. She's the person you'll be vaccinating. Hooray! Then she'll be safe from COVID. Not quite yet. She'll need to come back for another dose within the next 12 weeks. Then can she finally get back to normal life? She'll be safer. But for Haringey to get back to normal, we need as many people as possible to get their vaccine. While that happens, we need everyone to play their part in protecting themselves and their neighbours from the virus by washing their hands, covering their face and maintaining space. Hang on a moment. What's he doing with that big pointy thing? Whoa! Your time has come, Jab. You're about to help protect Nicole. Woohoo! Within 12 weeks, Nicole will need to come back for a second dose. Then a week later, she'll very likely be fully immune. I did it! I helped make Haringey safer. Well done, Jab. And people like Nicole can make Haringey safer too, by telling everyone about her experience and encouraging them to get the vaccine as well. Great idea! And if everyone does their part, Haringey can get back to normal as quickly as possible.